We have recently reorganized and updated our website in the hopes of giving you a better overall user experience. Here's a quick overview on how to navigate our site. Often, the first thing folks look for is if any libraries are currently closed. You can easily access our alerts by clicking or tapping on the yellow button at the very top of the homepage. Starting at the top of our homepage, contained in a thin blue bar, are the links for My Account and Catalog, two of our most frequently used links. My Account will prompt you to sign into your library account with your card number and personal identification number. For many individuals, your PIN is the last four digits of your phone number. Catalog will take you directly to the search page. Back to the home page. Next, we go to our menu, which provides the overall organizational structure of our site. Our menu links are locations and hours, events, services, online library, kids and teens, how do I, and donate. Selecting locations and hours from the menu will reveal a blue box listing each of our 19 branches sorted alphabetically, as well as a few other pages. Selecting any of our 19 branches will help you find important information like specific branch hours, upcoming events at a branch, directions, special services that may be offered there, and more. Selecting locations and hours in the menu also shows you, on the bottom right, a map of branches page, which is convenient for getting directions and seeing a snapshot of our hours across the county. Also within locations and hours are the special collections we have in the county. The Prince George's Room, the Sojourner Truth Room, and the Tugwell Room. More information about the collections can be found on these pages. Next in the menu are events. Selecting events will pull up a page that allows you to search all library programs based on three filters, location, age group, and event type. You also have the ability to search a date range just above the calendar. Clicking on any single event will pull up a separate page with more information about the event and even includes an add to calendar feature, which integrates with many digital calendars. A nice convenient feature that was recently added to the events page is the Create Brochure button. Based on the filters you have applied, Create Brochure will export a PDF of all programs that fit within your filters. Next in the menu is the Services tab. Selecting services will open a larger menu consisting of four categories. Account services, computers and technology, library rooms, and other services. Account Services has lots of valuable information discussing the perks of having a library card, including borrowing books by mail, borrowing from other library systems, and more. Computers and Technology contains information on using technology in our branches, ordering 3D prints, borrowing technology, including thermal cameras and Wi-Fi hotspots, and more. The Library Room submenu lists the presenter application, rent meeting rooms page, and information on reserving small study rooms. If you want to run your own program in the library, please refer to the presenter application. Many people are interested in renting meeting rooms and reserving small study rooms. Meeting rooms have a cost associated with them, while small study rooms are free. The Other Services section provides a good overview of things that can be done through the library. For example, passport services at certain branches, or assignment alerts for teachers requesting help for their students. Next in the menu is the online library. The online library expands to include several links, the most helpful for many folks being online resources. This is our collection of research databases, audiobooks, ebooks, videos, and music. These resources can be sorted alphabetically or by category and are all vetted by the library. The Career Online High School offers adults 21 and older who are residents of Prince George's County the opportunity to earn an accredited high school diploma and career certificate online. Also in the online library, you can sign up for email news and notices, including next reads for book recommendations, and get information about the various mobile apps that can be used in conjunction 
with library materials. Next in our menu is the Kids and Teens section. Here you will find dedicated pages to kids and teens with specific online resources available, upcoming events, and recommended reads. Also under Kids and Teens, you will find the book list for this school year, information about our Books from Birth program where all children can receive a free book up to their fifth birthday, information about early literacy, and a page for teachers in Prince George's County which explains how to request help from the library. Next in the menu is the How Do I page, which is a convenient source for getting lots of your questions answered. If you don't find it here, try the FAQ in our footer for more information. The last listing in the menu is our Donate page, which discusses our recently formed PGC MLS Foundation. If you or anyone you know is interested in donating and strengthening the library's capability to innovate and adapt to change, please visit this page for more information. Just under the menu is the search bar, which you can now use to find any content on our website. Please be aware that the search bar does not search our catalog. Please use the catalog link for this. Under the search are four badges, highlighting some of our most popular pages online resources, events, meeting rooms, and downloading apps. Next under the four badges are featured content boxes, which will rotate based on current needs and initiatives. Next we have our Spotlight Events area, where you can see four of our upcoming programs across the county. Clicking the titles will take you to the individual event pages for more information. Next on our homepage, is our recommended reads book carousels, which can be rotated by clicking or tapping on the gray area at the bottom. Finally, on the bottom of our website is our footer, where you will find our social media links, the administrative office's contact information, our About Us page, our FAQ page, and a link to our online resources. At the very bottom of our footer, you will find some important links, such as Contact Us, Catalog, Procurement, Account, and the Site Map. Please refer to the Site Map if you're unsure where any of our old pages may have gone. Additionally, there is a Translate button at the bottom right. We hope the redesign of our website helps you to find the resources you are looking for, and we thank you for visiting our website and our branches. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. Thanks.